how do you write a video script for YouTube? This is a serious question that every business owner needs to think about. Should you make a long video with lots of detailed information, B-roll cuts and, and cutaway images and, and items like that? Or should your video be short and sweet and to the point? Well, today I'm gonna show you a very simple method for sketching out your YouTube videos before you make them. And if you follow my method, you're gonna be able to write multiple videos in one day which is gonna help you to crank out video content faster and help your business to grow. Stay tuned, it's Owen Video. Hey, I'm Owen, founder of The Video Marketing School, where business owners like you learn the art and science of online video marketing. We upload a new video every single week to the channel, so be sure to subscribe and you won't miss a thing. Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to unpack or sketch out a YouTube video. So the idea is this, you have a title, you have an idea, you have a concept for a video. How do you unpack that idea and turn it into a, a video from that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, right? So it's not just you sort of randomly spouting things into the camera and you never know when to cut and the video just kind of goes on and on and on and on and on, right? We've all been in that position. I'm gonna show you a very simple five-step method for unpacking the video idea. And to do that, I'm gonna go inside of my Trello account, which is where we are now. Okay, so this is sort of my Trello account. This is where I keep all my video titles and where I come up with all my video titles. If you wanna see the video on how I created this board, you can click on the video that's, that's on the top of your screen now. But what you're looking at is we've got five different categories of video. I've got my how-to videos, my what is, what are videos, my where videos, my when videos, and my why videos. Now in each of these videos, you see a different sort of occupation that I use as an example. So this is because I teach video marketing and, and you probably do something even different than what you're seeing here. But these are just examples that I've made. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna unpack one of these examples. Okay, so let's go to the marketing company example right over here. And let's just pick this video here called what is better, Facebook ads or YouTube ads? When we go to unpack our video script, what we're gonna do is click on the card here, click on the title here. And now what that does is this opens up a much bigger area where we can write a description and even add comments. So as you're coming up with more ideas and really developing this video, you can always paste links in here, paste images you wanna use. It's gonna make it a better video. So I'm in the, the detailed description area right now. What I'm gonna do is write down the great acronym, G-R-E-A-T. And look at how I, I kind of do this by skipping a line. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the great video format for unpacking this video. G stands for grab attention. So how am I gonna grab attention in this video? So for this particular video, what is face, you know, what is better, Facebook ads or YouTube ads? I might wanna start with something like, you're gonna lose money if you're not advertising in the right place which is a better spot for your advertising dollars is it facebook ads or youtube ads okay and then you kind of we're gonna go into that today da, 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 and that kind of triggers sort of my my introduction um segment the second part of the great video format is to restate the problem, okay? And this is where you're gonna sort of poke the bear a little bit or agitate the problem. You've already sort of laid it out. Hey, you're gonna lose money or, or hey, you know, which is better for your business. You're, you're gonna agitate that right now. So you might say something like, there's a lot of choices out there, right? Or you might say something like, ads are very expensive you have to be careful and kind of unpack that a little bit. Again, you're poking the bear. You wanna really make them feel the problem here, right? So in Restate the Problem, what you're gonna do is, is really just create that confusion and really poke the bear, poke on the pain point because in your next step here, you're gonna explain your solution and you're gonna solve the problem that you were just agitating. So it's very, very important see, that you're poking them on the wound. You're kind of poking their, their broken arm. You're gonna, does that hurt? 
Does that hurt? Well, great, because I have some aspirin for you. Do you want some aspirin? Right, it's $297 or whatever, whatever the case might be. So let's go back to the screen here. Step three is explain your solution. Now notice I didn't say explain a solution or explain the solution, but your unique solution. And this is where you're gonna share your packaged offer. Now, you know, hopefully by now that your offer is packaged, but if, if you haven't packaged your offer yet, you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel. We have a whole series coming out on how to package your offer so that it's it sounds great, your customer can memorize it, it gets stuck in their head. So subscribe to the channel because you don't wanna miss that. But in Explain Your Solution, you're literally gonna be sharing them with them why your solution will solve that problem. Now, every company is gonna do this a little bit differently. So I'm just gonna kind of skip through this one. This is where you're just gonna unpack your solution, okay? Now, that brings us to A, which is actual proof. Okay, these are your testimonials. And in your testimonials, I want you to share three case studies or stories with your audience and be sure to include numbers. What makes proof actually proof, right, are the numbers. So it's important that you as a company that you're gathering your testimonials, you're gathering your actual proof so that you can share it with customers at the appropriate time. Now, I'm sure that you're all business owners, you, you've got testimonials from some of your great clients, but if you're in a place where you're brand new, here are some things that you can do in the actual proof section. Number one is go to your Yelp or your Google reviews and, and take a look at any of your Google reviews. And, and you can say something like, you know, Jim Jones gave us four out of five stars and then put Jim Jones's review. If you don't have any reviews yet, ask your friends and family to go leave you a review on Google Business or on, on Yelp or, or another sort of review network that you might be a part of. The other thing that you can do is you can post industry stats. So if you don't have any direct testimonials yet, you can just post industry stats. And that's gonna be something like, the industry has grown X and X percent or um, you, you know, nine out of 10 dentists prefer or whatever the case might be. You can use sort of like national statistics and apply them to your local business, okay? So that's a actual proof. Let's go to the last point of the great video formula and that is tell them um, what to do, okay? So in this last part here, tell them what to do. This is your call to action. Now on YouTube, not every video you do should have a call to action, right? A lot of the videos that you do on YouTube should really just go to other videos. But one in every five videos or so on YouTube should be a sales video. And of course, in your call to action, you want to be very, very specific, even to the point of referencing the platform on which the ad is being seen. So what I mean by that is if you're running or, or boosting a video ad on Facebook, you might want to say something like click the button below this video and point, where would it be? It'd be down here and like point downwards right here because on Facebook, they'll on a Facebook ad, there'll be a button right there. What you want to avoid is you want to avoid sort of this like call me today, right? Or this untrackable stuff. I, I realize internet marketing might be new to you but you don't want to be sending people to an action call that you can't track and you're not measuring, right? Uh, then you can't prove you can't prove what you're doing is working and if it's worth investing in and a myriad of ideas, okay? So no phone numbers, your call to action ends the video. You should not talk further beyond the call to action, just end the video. So there you have it. That's my five-step method for unpacking your video titles in a quick and efficient manner so that you can make more videos for the web. Follow this formula every time you make a video and you'll be successful with, with each new video that you make. Now, hey, before you go, there is a killer new video that I want you to watch next. Click on this box that's on your screen right now and continue your journey into video marketing to grow your business. Video is hot right now. You gotta get positioned. The Video Marketing School is here to help. Click on this video now. I'll see you there. Can't wait.